Hi everyone, it's your boy Robert here and today we are going to go off-roading with some jeeps around the mountains at the Daoyan Reservoir. The reservoir is approximately 60 kilometers or 38 miles directly east of Changsha and takes about one hour to get there by car. With my wife being a member of the Hunan Jeep Wrangler Club, we decided to accept an invite from the club for a ride along. At first we knew nothing of the destination except for the fact that it's in the mountains. As my wife and I were winding along the country roads, this large body of water came out of nowhere. This was the Daoyan Reservoir. It was clear from the sandbanks that the water level was lower than usual. This is due to the fact that there was a drought that gripped many regions across China in the summer of 2022 including the Hunan province. After navigating the narrow back roads of the mountain valleys we descended upon the rendezvous point and first had lunch at a local inn for a few hours before starting the 4x4 track. There was a total of 7 Jeep Wranglers that pitched up. 6 Jeeps all have aftermarket heavy duty tires, shocks and custom body works, with only one being a factory stock. Our yellow Jeep was the only two door there. Eventually we reached a steep and dangerous incline. The jeeps lined up and each waited for their turn to attempt the climb. I find it The red jeep went first and eventually made it to the top after a few attempts. All the jeeps had to take a few attempts to climb the hill. The more surface area a tire has, the more traction it provides. However, the more traction there is, the more stress it puts on the engine. My wife went last and struggled a lot as her engine is a 3 liter which is slightly weaker than the other jeeps engines. After the steep descent there were some other obstacles to challenge the drivers.
After spending some time in the hills, we started making our way back down to where we had lunch. Some of the roads down were different from the ones going to the top. We had to take it easy as there were many branches from trees in the way and varying terrain. As we got down into the valley, the lead driver radioed everyone to say that we should all follow him into the stream for some splash action. I felt really bad for some local visitors who were fishing in peace in the stream. The first jeeps drove over some nets with fish in it, disrupted fishing lines and caused unrest in a tranquil area. Come this way, turn, turn, turn. The rough stream and rocks were taking its toll on the jeeps and the black jeep in front wanted to call it quits. I encouraged my wife to do the same, even though the leader wanted everyone to press on. The bottom of the chassis were scraping against the rocks and gravel. The rocks under the water were also scratching the rims. The last thing I wanted was for the differential lock to get bust and leak oil, or as with the case of the black stock jeep in front, to blow a back tire and cripple its way out.
As you can imagine, going upstream was a lot more difficult than going downstream. Often the jeeps would get stuck in the water and alternative routes would have to be taken. 4x4ing is a very technical activity that requires a lot of thought and planning. Flying the drone in this area was extremely tricky, but allowed for a greater depth of field and overview. The red jeep was waiting to rescue the black jeep with the electric winch at a slip slope connecting to the main road. The black jeep has stock tires and blew the back right tire. Luckily the driver had a spare and made it back home later on. There was a long piece of bamboo in the water that was pestering Xiaomi. It would make her tires spin, which in turn would dig her in deeper. Eventually we removed it. However, I had to add some stones in front of the back tires to provide the traction to get out. All the jeeps made it out in one piece and the only casualty was the flat tire of the black jeep. Everyone decided to head back to the river by the inn to say their final goodbyes to each other. It was a very exciting but stressful day. There were one or two occasions when I thought that Xiaomi would roll the jeep over. I was really looking forward to some R&R. &R. Before initially leaving the inn for the 4x4 track, I left a 2 litre Pepsi in the freezer in the inn's kitchen. Luckily it was wasn't frozen solid and it was really quenching. Someone also left a watermelon for us to grab. It was nice to get out of the city for the day and we definitely didn't have any regrets or misfortune. I'm grateful to my wife for exposing me to the world of Jeep 4x4 adventure. I've definitely learned a lot and I hope you all did as well. Thanks for watching.